Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another one of my lipstick roulettes. I know that this is one day late if you noticed, uh, but I was just really busy yesterday so I didn't have time to film this. But at least it's up today, so let's just jump straight into it. The first lipstick that I had over the last two weeks is this one from L'Oreal. And this is one of their Color Riche lipsticks in Blush and Sequin. This is a really nice, very sheer lip color. It is like a coral pink, but it definitely has a lot of pink on the tones in it. I really quite like this. Uh, I don't often go for sheer lipsticks, but uh, I actually really enjoyed wearing this. I wore it on a very low makeup day uh, over the weekend, uh, and I really, really enjoyed how I wore it that way. Uh, of course, this would go pretty well with other looks as well. But I just prefer these lipsticks more with uh, the kind of no makeup makeup looks. This was one of the lipsticks that I was a bit torn about before putting into this round but after trying it out over the last two weeks I actually want to keep it and I want to potentially pan this in the future but I just feel like it's good to have a few lipsticks that are a bit more sheer because even though I really like a bold lip which you probably noticed by now I still do have a place for sheer lipsticks in my collection as well, so this one is one that I want to keep. And that is the swatch of the L'Oreal lipstick on my hand. The next lipstick I have is this one from Revlon, and this is a classic, it's one of their lip butters in the shade Sorbet. These lipsticks used to get so much hype uh, a couple years ago, and they were all the rage, so I picked up quite a few of them, and I do have quite a few more in my collection. Um, this one though is quite similar to the L'Oreal lipstick, and I prefer the L'Oreal shade a tiny bit more. And this one is also a bit bolder in the color, which I usually like. However, when it comes to sheer lipsticks, like I said before, I usually wear them when I go for a more no makeup makeup look. And this one is just a bit too bold in my opinion for that. It is a nice lipstick, but since this is quite similar to the L'Oreal shade, I will be decluttering this one. And that is the Revlon shade on my hand. And you can see it compared to L'Oreal lipstick as well. The next lipstick I have is from Maybelline, and this is one of the matte lipsticks in the shade Blushing Pout. This lipstick is straight up my alley. Uh, you know that I adore blue tone pinks, and this one is a blue tone pink. However, this is a very special shade in my collection because it almost leans uh, lilac, which I quite enjoy. I found this a bit harder to wear now when I have a bit more of a tan. It's starting to fade though, so I wore this a bit more uh, at the end of the period uh, because I like this more when I am a bit paler because I feel like this washes me out when I'm a bit more tanned. But I adore this shade, I adore this formula. This formula is one of my favorite uh, formulas of lipstick. I really, really like it and I have a few of these in my collection. And since this shade is so unique, I definitely want to keep it in my collection. And that is the Maybelline shade on my hand. Moving on to the next lipstick, which is from Clinique. And this is one of their pop lipsticks in Poppy Pop. I have two of these lipsticks from L'Oreal, this one as well as a nude. And I really, really like the formula. I know that I have quite a few lipsticks that are similar to this in my collection, but I really, really quite like this one. Uh, I know that I will have to go through this coloring uh, after I'm done with this series as well because I know that I kept quite a few of them, but I just adore this type of shade. I feel like this shade would look good on basically any skin tone because it looks really good with pale skin, but it is stunning when you're both more tanned as well because it kind of brings out the oranginess in this lipstick. Although I do have quite a few shades, like I mentioned, I will be keeping this one because I adore the formula and the shade of this. And yeah, I just really, really like this lipstick. And that is the Clinique lipstick on my hand. Next up, we have the one that I'm wearing, and it's the last lipstick of the bunch. And this one is from Maybelline, and it's their Superstay 14 hour lipstick in the shade Stay With Me Coral. I panned one of these lipsticks in the beginning of the year in my Rolling Project pan and I used to really really love this formula and I used love the scent of them and I used to love the colors but when I panned this I kind of realized that it balls up in a really strange way when you're wearing it and I never had that with a lipstick formula before but it made me realize that I actually don't like this formula as much as I think I did. I believe that is because Previously when I wore this, I haven't worn it um, in the same amount of time and I haven't reapplied it the same way as I did when I was panning uh, one of these lipsticks. So despite me adoring the shade of this and the scent, 
I will be decluttering this because I know what a pain these are to use up and if I don't like the formula I should just let it go and that's the case with this one so this will be leaving my collection as well. And to show you that is the final lipstick on my hand. So this actually ended up being quite a good round of lipstick roulette and uh, I actually decluttered two which is probably a record for me uh, for one of these videos um, and yeah I'm really happy to be able to move a few more out of my collection but let's move on to picking some new ones for next round. So I have my box here as per usual and I'm gonna pick the lipsticks. The first one will be <laughs> the other one of my Clinique uh, lipsticks that I mentioned earlier and this one is in Melon Pop. And that is the swatch of Melon Pop on my hand. The second lipstick will be... Another one of my Maybelline ones. And this is in the shade All Fired Up. And this is also one of their mattes. And that is the shade of that right there. It's a beautiful lipstick. The third lipstick will be... One of my... Colourpop Lip Sticks in the shade Goldie, which is one of their matte X. And luckily we're moving into fall because that is a bit more of a vampy shade. The fourth lipstick will be... This one from Kate Moss by Rimmel and this is in the shade 20. And that is the shade on my hand. And the final lipstick will be... One of my MAC lipsticks in the shade Kinda Sexy. And that is the final lipstick on my hand. So this round I actually got quite a bit of variety in the lipsticks that I picked. Which is really really good because I've had quite a lot of similar shades over the last couple of rounds. But this color palette just makes me so happy. It has some of my favorite shades and it just makes me really excited for the next round. I'm actually really looking forward to trying all of these shades because there are some of my favorite shades in here. But other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I do have a whole playlist of all of my lipstick roulettes and I will leave that up in the cards if you haven't seen all of my videos. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I would love to have you in the family. But otherwise, I hope you're having the best of days and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!